I drew you a picture. What is continuous? Continuous time, yes. Until is continuous. So we're going to practice using until. I'm going to give you two parts of a situation and you're going to put them together. So if I say she doesn't feel better yet, she should lie down. You're going to say she should lie down until she feels better. Okay, let's do two of them together. The concert is still going on. We'd better keep quiet. We'd better keep quiet until the concert is Continuous time until something until. stops or finishes. So we'd better keep quiet until the concert is over. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can't get seats yet. We'd better stand at the back. Mm -hmm. Until we can get seats. Yes, we better stand at the back until we can get seats. Okay, Leah. I haven't finished this novel yet. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to stay up until I finish this novel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jinyan, dinner isn't ready yet. Why don't we take a walk? Why do we take a walk? One more time. Why? Why do? One more time. Why we? Why? Why don't we? Why don't we take a walk? Mm -hmm. Until the dinner is ready. Yes. What's the meaning of why don't we? Suggestion? Suggestion, right. Why do we, I want a reason, why don't we is suggestion. Okay, Gemma, we can't get a new car yet. We'll have to make do with this one. First question, what is the meaning of make do? Make do. Sure. Mm, we have to survive. Survive with something. So we have to survive with what we have. Make do. Okay? So we can't get a new car yet. We'll have to make do with this one. We have to make do with this one until... Sorry. We can't get a new car yet. We'll have to make do with this one. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We can't get a new car yet. We have to save some money. We have to save some money until we can get a new car. Yes. We have to save some money until we can get a new car. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Leah, mm, how long do we have to wear masks? I make sense. Mm -hmm. How long do we? Mm, answer. Um, how long do we have to wear masks? We have to wear masks. Until the coronavirus ends. Oh, we have to wear masks mm -hmm. until the coronavirus ends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Gemma, okay. how long do we have to study English? We, we have to study English until we will do better. Mm, until we? Um, until we. We ability. Ability. We, uh, we will not will. We speak English 
until we can speak English well, until we can speak English well. Um, let's see. Jinhyun, how long do I have to live in Korea? How long do I have to live in Korea? I think that you, <laughs> you, you have to live in Korea until, <laughs> until all Koreans speak English very well. No! <laughs> okay. Pretty country. <laughs> okay, let's go to page 42. We're going to talk about something called a collocation. What is a collocation? It's not in your book. <laughs> Most of this class is not in your book. What is a collocation? Collocation. Mm -hmm. What's a collocation? If you've taken my class before, mm -hmm. you should know this. Yeah. I teach you this in level three yeah. and level four. Yeah. So what's a collocation? Uh, for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think make do or make something. Yes. Do something. Uh -huh. A collocation is the matching of two words that sounds natural in the language that you're speaking. In English, I say, make a mistake. But if in Korean, I say, <laughs> you understand me, but it's not normal. It's weird. That's a collocation. A collocation is the difference between sounding like you know the language and sounding like you are thinking and making cute English. So I usually tell students that this is the most important thing if you want to sound fluent. Okay. So we have to talk about a few things because we're going to be learning some collocations. First thing we need to talk about is for and to. When do we use for and when do we use to? What do you mean by reason? Object? What do you mean by object? To explain something just more specific. What do you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so you're you're saying to me reason, but what does that mean? So I have four grammar points when I use four. What are they? Reason is not a grammar point. So what when do I use four? Four plus verb ing. Okay? Or date. Four plus time. What kind of time? Countable time. Countable time is time that has a, s, or a number. I've been studying English for a year. I've been studying English for years. I've been studying English for four years. If there is an a, uh, a number, or an s, we use four. Two more. Noun. Noun. And one more. person. So, Leah and Jinyan told me reason. This would be your reason. So when I ask you why, 
you say reason. The reason I ask is because I'm going to SDA to learn English. Two plus verb is also a reason. So it's not just reason. It's noun or verb ing. Okay. Two. I need two more for two. Person. Person. And time. Uncountable. No. no. Location. Okay. I have two plus person and four plus person. What's the difference? I taught all of you. I know. Only you are free. You three, I'm very angry. I know, but I don't know how to do it. 4-2, what's the difference? Four person benefit, uh, help. Two person direct. I talked to my sister. I bought a present for my sister. I gave the present to my sister. So four is benefit, two is direct. Okay, now I have three more words we need to talk about. She's <laughs> get, have, and take. Get, have, take. We'll talk about those in a second, but let's go to page 42. I'm going to give you the sentence. So I'm going to say go to the barbershop for a haircut and you are going to make it into a collocation. Meaning you are going to say go to the barbershop to get a haircut. Go to the barbershop to take a haircut. You're going to tell me which one is right, which one is wrong. Okay, so number one, go to the barbershop for a haircut. Two? To get a haircut. Go to the barbershop to get a haircut. Or have my haircut. Have my haircut. So get a haircut, have my haircut. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have my haircut. Okay, James, yeah. go to the bakery for some bread. Yeah. Answer is not in your book. You're making a new co-location. Oh, go to the go to the bakery. Mm -hmm. Go to the bakery to get. Go to the bakery to get some bread. Any other ones? To have some bread. Correct. What's the difference? Get some bread, have some bread. What's the difference? Have some bread. Get is buy and go. Have is stay and eat. Mm -hmm. So if someone says to me, let's have some coffee, I know they want to spend a little bit of time together. If I someone says, let's get some coffee, it might only be five minutes. Okay. Gemma, okay. go to the pool for a swim. Go to the pool to have a swim. Okay. Possible. But, but what would Americans say? Um, 
Heavy? No. Nope. Go to the pool. To swim. Correct. Mm -hmm. But take a swim. Take a swim. Take, take a swim. swim. One thing to remember about American English and British English, Americans usually use take. And British people usually use have. So Americans take a bath, take a shower, take a nap. British people have a bath, have a shower, have a nap. So that's why have is correct, but take is more natural to me. Okay. Okay, Leah. Go to the school for an English class. Okay. Yes. One more. Mm -hmm. Take an English class, have an English class. What's the difference? Take has a feeling of more action. I'm going to take the class. Have has a feeling of more passive. I don't really feel like it, but I have a class. I'm going to sit there. So both of them are correct, but take feels more active. Okay, Junhyun, go to the hospital for a checkup. Go to the hospital to get a checkup. Okay. Another? Mm -hmm. Go to the hospital to have a checkup. Correct. It's okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the hospital and have a checkup. Okay. James, go to the beach for a vacation. Go to the beach uh, to take a vacation. Okay. Take a, mm, take a vacation. I'm going to go to the beach to have a vacation. Possible. Okay. Gemma, go to the gas station for some gas. Go to the gas station to get some gas. Go to the gas station to have some gas. Not have. Only get. Only get. Only get. No. Only get. What does take mean? Take some gas. Steel. Uh, Steel. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leo, this is a little bit difficult. Go to the library for some books. Go to the library to get some books. Yes, go to the library to get some books. So even though those books do not become my books, I still get them, get some books. Okay, Junhyun, go to the post office for some stamps. Go to the post office to get some stamps. Go to the post office to get some stamps. James, go to the bank for some money. Uh, go to the bank to get some money. Okay. There's one more, but it's slightly different. Still. Take would be take. Take, uh, take some money. But we take out. Take out. Take out. Go to the bank to take out some money. Go to the ATM to take out some money. Okay. Gemma, go to the coffee shop for a cup of coffee. Go to the coffee shop to have a have a cup of coffee. Okay. Or go to the coffee shop to get get a cup of coffee. Yes. Okay. Leah, go to the tennis club for a game. Go to the tennis club to have a game. Go to the tennis club to have a game. Okay. Any questions? No. I want to talk about one thing before we have conversation, and that is get. What does get mean in English? Earn. Oh. Similar to earn. Do something. Obtain. Okay. Obtain. Um. So when you think of obtain, what does obtain mean? Become mine. So when you think of that, when English speakers use get, I'm getting angry. Anger is becoming mine. I'm getting hungry. Hungry is becoming mine. 
can I get a cheeseburger? I want to obtain. I want that cheeseburger to be mine. Um, can I get the day off? I want that day off to be mine. So oftentimes in English, we use get because it means I want something to be me, to be mine, or something is becoming, oh, I'm getting lazy. I'm getting fat. It's getting cold. Get, 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 get all the time. Okay. No questions? No. Okay, then let's go to page 45. We are talking about phobias, and I have not had this conversation for a long time, so this is going to be interesting. What are you afraid of? Death, flying, fear is natural, but sometimes people can't control it. Fear that can't be controlled and causes an extreme physical reaction is called a phobia. The number of people who suffer from phobias is unknown because most people don't want to admit having those fears. Doctors don't know how people lose control, but they believe phobias can be learned. When children observe adults reacting to certain situations with extreme fear, they themselves learn to be afraid. The fear of fear is also thought to be a cause. When someone is afraid of speaking in public, their palms sweat, their heart pounds, and they can't breathe. They never want to experience those feelings again. They fear being afraid, and it becomes a cycle. Thankfully, most phobias can be either cured or controlled through therapy. It helps people understand the way they think so that they can learn better ways to react in frightening situations. People can also change their reactions through techniques such as breathing, relaxing, or visualizing. First question, they themselves, they themselves, what does it mean? Yeah. Last line of the first paragraph, they mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. They themselves is emphasis. I can make the same sentence, when children observe, observe adults reacting to certain situations with extreme fear, they learn to be afraid. But I want to emphasize they, those people, themselves. So it's emphasis. Mm -hmm. Next, their palms sweat, their heart pounds. What is heart pounds? <laughs> Rapid heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Upbeat. And last one is visualizing, visualizing, imagining. Yeah. So one thing that's kind of difficult is that fears in English have long words, claustrophobia, arachnophobia, trypophobia, my fear, I am afraid of heights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> so do I. No. Me too. Me too. <laughs> or so am I. So am I. Yeah. So when I, even standing on chairs, I don't like it. Mm. I don't like it. So I have a fear of heights and I have a fear of escalators. Mm. However, my fear of escalators was cured by one thing. What cured my fear of escalators? Um, moving to Korea. <laughs> when I moved to Korea, oh, wait, no. I'm the same size now as I was when I moved to Korea. I gained a lot of weight mm -hmm. back. Um, and the first place they took me was Itaewon Station. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not taking the escalator. I'm going to take the stairs. Have you seen the stair? When you are overweight and you have not exercised in years because you drive everywhere. Mm. So I arrived in Korea, jet lag, overweight. Mm. I'm going up the stairs. Mm. Nope. I take the escalator now. Mm. I'm a little afraid. Mm. So if you watch me when I'm in the subway station, I get on the escalator like that. But Korea cured my fear of escalators. Mm. Because you have too many stairs. 
Jinyoung, what is your fear? What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of height. You're afraid of height? Uh, I have, I think I have a height phobia. What is, uh, hold on. Hey Google, what do you call a fear of heights? Excuse me? According to Healthline, acrophobia oh. describes an intense fear of heights that can cause significant anxiety and panic. Mm. Acrophobia. Acrophobia? Acrophobia is fear of heights. Oh. Uh. How high is too high? I think, uh, actually, when I have that kind of feeling, mm -hmm. when I am at the top of building mm -hmm. or the top of the mountain peak, or several years ago, I went to Lotte World and rode the diodro. Mm -mm. No, no. I, think, yeah. I, I think ro roller coasters. No, 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 <laughs> oh. no, no. So, you know, I took that. I load that child. You're not really afraid. Oh, so <laughs> it is to stop a little bit one minute, something like that, at the top of. At the top, top at the top, mm -hmm. and it stopped to uh, a few minutes, mm -hmm. few uh, few seconds, few seconds. But I couldn't open my eyes, so I carefully open my eyes and no. see all <laughs> visuals, and I realized that I was uh, the hotel was far below where I was. Yes. I couldn't breathe. How did you get on it in the first place? Oh, huh? How did you get on in the first place? Why did you go there? Do you have you have you ever seen a bag carrier at Lotte World or Everland? The bag carrier is the friend who's afraid of heights. And when the friends who like roller coasters go on the ride, they leave their friend with a bag. And the bag carrier sits outside the ride on their phone. I am a bag carrier. I cannot, I, I cannot even. No, no, no. You're very brave. So after that, mm -hmm. my phobia is getting serious. Your phobia got worse? Okay. Oh. So I cannot. Oh. Even even though I when I when I am on you go over it pretty pretty mm. I cannot I see <laughs> just look straight forward don't look to the side when you're climbing a mountain don't look down straight forward I see nothing I'm okay <laughs> Gemma what's your fear ghost Ghosts? I have I been I I've been not I haven't not met ghosts yet. Wow, I haven't seen a ghost. I haven't seen a ghost yet, but mm -hmm. I feel I usually feel feel fear when I'm when I when I'm alone. Mm -hmm. uh, actually I really love to uh the uh, Horror movie, <laughs> but I cannot describe the ghost when uh, until the movie's end. I don't know <laughs> the ghost uh, anyways, but it's really why do you hurt yourself? <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared of ghosts, so let me watch a scary movie yes. where I will be afraid. Yes. No. Hey Google, what do you call a fear of ghosts? According to Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, the fear of ghosts is sometimes referred to as phasmophobia and erroneously spectrophobia, the latter being an established term for fear of mirrors in one's own body. There are so many phobias. Phasmophobia. But as uh, Google said, there's uh, spectrophobia, that's a fear of mirrors. How can you be afraid of a mirror? 
Maybe if you're ugly. Sometimes I'm afraid of mirrors, full body mirrors in, in dressing rooms. Oh. I gave myself a new fear. I'm now afraid of mirrors. Okay. James, what's your fear? I don't like, uh, I always, I, I don't also like. Uh, I also don't like. I don't also. I also don't. I also don't like uh, high, uh, high, high praise. Mm, why? I have, I have a ego for me. Uh, How bad is it? Uh, uh, I usually feel uh, scared. Mm, but I mean, how high can you go before you're scared? Uh, usually four and five. Four, four or five, five stories. Yeah, so, so what um, floor do you live on? Now? Yeah. Three? Third floor. Oh. oh. Yeah. No. I couldn't live those beautiful towers. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> Leo, what's your fear? Um, I I don't like um, pattern, um, small and regular, uh, and very many uh, holes. Pattern. Yes, holes. Mm -hmm. You I have really don't like trypophobia. Is it? Mm -hmm. Hey Google, what's a fear of holes? According to CBS News, the reaction is so severe that even seeing photos of trypophobia. Trypophobia is fear of tiny, regular holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Nobody knows. But it has become an increasingly common fear. It it wasn't a no, I oh yeah, I understand. <laughs> but it's not like random holes. It's like same size or holes in nature, yeah. right? Yeah. Like beehives or like, oh, you know the worst one? Lotus flower pod. Hmm? Lotus oh. flower pod. Lotus. Do you know? I don't want to show you. <laughs> okay, I'll show everyone else and you can oh. tell Leo what it is. Uh, Lotus flower pod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting. What is this? I should have kept. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so lotus flower pot. Oh. When when you know someone has a fear of holes and you're angry with them. Then you you send them that. Mm. Oh God! <laughs> okay. No, I don't like it. Okay, so James and Jinhyun, you're gonna have a conversation, and Leah and Gemma, you're gonna have a conversation on page forty-five. Yes.